Transforming organizational culture is one of the most difficult tasks for leadership, but it cannot be avoided. Not when only 19% of over 7,000 CEOs and HR leaders believe that their organizations have the right culture, according to the Deloitte Global Human Capital Trends 2016 report. Cultural transformation helps organizations evolve their company culture to achieve their strategic objectives. It's also key to ensuring a positive employee experience for the workforce. So, how can you lead a successful cultural transformation at your organization? In this episode, we'll explain how to do this in nine steps. Before we get into this topic, be sure to check out our comprehensive guide to cultural transformation, where you can find out more about what it is and how to recognize the need for culture change in your organization. Hi, Nelly here. Welcome to a new episode of Learning Bytes. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click on the notification bell and like the video. Now let's get started on the nine steps to lead a successful cultural transformation. One, identify how your culture needs to change. To get where you want to be, you need to understand where you are right now. Start with a culture diagnostic, like the Organization Culture Assessment Instrument, or OCAI, to understand what your current culture is built on. The OCAI analyzes company culture based on four competing values. Adhocracy, or create culture, which is dynamic and entrepreneurial. Clan, or collaborate culture, which is people-oriented and friendly. Hierarchy, or control culture, which which is process-oriented and structured. Compete or market culture, which is results-oriented and competitive. Look at your organization's objectives and look for ways to help the culture evolve to a new dimension that more effectively supports your strategic objectives and workforce needs. Two, get support from leadership. Employees are inspired by leaders and mirror their behaviors, beliefs, and perspectives. That's why the leadership team is key to setting the behavioral norms within the organization. Now, here's what you need to do. Identify the leaders and key stakeholders, including both formal and informal ones. Create a change team with the leaders and stakeholders you've identified. Set up an empowerment session. Help them understand and prepare them for objections and difficult questions. Three, focus on key behavioral shifts. Create a vision which everyone in the company can understand and remember to set goals. Target your interventions on a couple of critical behavioral shifts you want to achieve. For example, if you want to move your organization from a hierarchy culture to a clan culture, you would focus on teamwork, commitment, empowerment, cohesion, and engagement. Include these behaviors in your performance management system so you can measure and develop them. Four, implement formal and informal interventions. Formal approaches in cultural transformation would include new policies or policy changes, introducing new metrics and incentives to achieve the desired results. Meanwhile, informal interventions would include informal interactions between the managers and the employees. These are opportunities for engagement. Five, effectively communicate change. There is nothing more powerful than clear, honest and consistent communication. This type of communication builds trust and engages employees in the process. Here are some tips. Be transparent, be clear about the changes you're trying to achieve and make sure to address any employee concerns. Customize, find the most effective way to reach different demographics within your organization and customize your communication plan accordingly. Get help, involve your colleagues from corporate communication for advice and guidance on how to get your message across. Integrate. Include your vision change in your employer branding so that it's very clear both internally and externally where your organization is headed. 6. Overcome barriers. Many times, culture change is met with resistance. It's important to quickly identify where the resistance is coming from and intentionally work toward removing the barriers to change. Consider appointing change champions. They are employees at all levels within the organization who promote the change process, both formally and informally. Seven, create short-term wins. Nothing is more motivating than success. By setting short-term goals, achieving them, and recognizing your success, you will further strengthen the support for the changes you're making. Having short-term goals provides quick wins. Remember to celebrate these wins publicly so the organization gets the feeling that they are on a roll. This will help to keep people energized. 
8. Reflect on the changes. Once change is underway, it's important to reflect on what you've achieved so far. What are the positive outcomes of the cultural transformation and how can you build upon them? How has the transformation impacted your business performance? And what can you do differently? To help answer these questions, you can conduct another culture profile assessment with the OKI to observe what changes have been made and how much further the organization has to go to achieve its desired culture profile. Nine, reinforce the change. Change is a continuous process. To reinforce it, you'll need to recognize the positive effects of the change. Here are some of the things you can do. Focus on hiring people who are a right fit for the new culture. Demonstrate the link between the new behaviors and organizational success. Develop training programs to build and strengthen the competencies that support the new culture. Cultural transformation is a long-term effort, but the results are rewarding and well worth the investment. Want to know more about cultural transformation including how you can recognize the need for change? Check out our full guide on cultural transformation and remember to subscribe to our channel, hit the notification button and like this video. See you next time.